Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you a couple cool things. So we're going to go deep into one of these pieces. Try to maybe zoom in a little bit on some of this. Of course, this is a cardinal. This is a beak and everything's still painted. You can see like a little brow right there for his eye if it'll stay focused. I'm going to put him down just a little bit and maybe try to zoom the, zoom the camera in and see if I can get a, a better look there for everybody. You can see the paint there. So this is a cardinal head. That works better zoomed in like that. Keeps the focus. So you can see even his wing and everything is very detailed once you start to look at all the little details there. So we're gonna go real deep into this crystal piece here. Um, so this guy, you can probably already see it, but right in that sand spot right there, there is the most detailed, tiniest little eye. You can see how small it is. I'll try to get as close as I can before we lose focus but you see the pupil you see the outside of the whole eyeball the whole eyeball there it's just in the sand this is a polished piece of quartz you notice the black stuff on top there is polished and I'm hoping that you guys can look into that little hole there and see that eyeball so that eyeball is for this face there's a face on this stone here of course otherwise the channel would not be called faces in the stone right but um, that's a, a really neat one. He's got a lot of different images and different things on him. So when you turn him this way, he's also got a face. And then if you look on the left-hand side profile here, you know, they use the natural bits of the stone. So you'll see different ones come out. Of course, this being the nose. And we can explore a few of these together. There's gonna be just another one right here. I like doing this with you guys. There's a little lips poking out. Cause you know, this skill, it wanes on you if you don't use it. And, oh, there's a cardinal. So just like this bird head right here, right? Look at that, the same deal. So they use the natural spot in the, in the stone there for the eye. And that's his bill coming up. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, if you don't use this skill, another bird head here peak on the right hand side it does wane on you it and it's not it's such a beautiful <clears throat> excuse me it's such a beautiful thing that I do not want to lose it you know I don't want to not uh, not be able to do this anymore sometimes it gets kind of scary to think like I could lose this ability and I don't want that to happen so I like practicing with you guys um, so of course, you know, this is the painted face, but we're gonna go ahead and explore some more different ones here. Let's look at some of these paleo points real quick, or I don't know what you'd call them. Some of the, most of them are uniface, but these are a lot of the things that are in the caches that are buried underneath some of these larger effigies. Many, many of them are going to be broken. You can see how the bottom whole section of this one is broken. It did have its little rib there. I'll give you a closer look at that. So you see how this is, this is what they call uniface, where just one side of the point has been chiseled out. And um, maybe the whole thing was just chipped off of a piece of stone when it was created. Different people made different uh, styles of arrowheads and that's how we identify where things are from and what time period they're from. They wanted to let us know that they were smart with their um, with their shape making, they created a lot of different little diamonds and different shapes and things. Um, those, like I said, are all packed in the clay as well. So I'm not sure where to start really. I got this little light set up here to try to show us some more detail and just to explore a couple of these with us. This is a face totem. You can see his detailed eye inside there. The shadows will help to do that. Some of these I've shown before, and um, I don't want to bore you guys by showing you the same thing over, but stay tuned because we do have some some new stuff here. There's always more to see anyway. Um, so, you know, each time I look at these, sometimes I'll see something else. This is the first face stone that I realized it, about this. I uh, watched a video from Paleo Mountain Man, and he talked about, you know, it looks like a face, doesn't it? And he was always really... You know, he'd always say, oh, this was an axe head, too. You know, it's not an axe head. It's a piece of art. But 
you know, he always had that little cover story, which I thought was interesting. After after the fact, anyway, now that I um, now that I know about this, but this is the first one that I I realized. I'm like, turns out I got some of these face stones too, and so of course you can see the eyebrow and everything on this one uh, for his eye right there. It's a dual sided one, and he's got a couple different eyes inside of him. But of course you can see the porf profile portrait. I like to think that this was a couple, you know, uh, maybe a husband and wife. So. Sometimes, you know, the different different types of stones will have different things. This is just a bird printed on this stone. Um, and then this one actually does have some faces and things on it as well in different ways when you look at it. Uh, so we'll see if we can spot one real quick. This one's not by any means an easy one. It looks like it still might have some of the paint and things on it. But... This is cool enough for me. It's just, you know, you can tell it's a little printed in bird beak there. Uh, but there are some some faces and things on this as well. And you will see one right there pointing to the, to the left there. The eye socket, nose, and then the mouth inside there. There's going to be a couple in there, so you'll probably see some that I don't see. So this one just took a peek at it. I really like this one because it has some really neat crystal and stuff in it. I mean, ooh, you bring it even closer to the light, it gets even nicer. Uh, so this is like a headdress version with a face in there and you can probably like see an eye somewhere. I uh, always see those little lips poking out. So the eye is actually pretty round and there's a white spot right there that I'm seeing. And then you'll see the little lips in there, but there's gonna be several in this one. Also gonna be a little one on the bottom there. Um, but I saw some pretty neat stuff in this one. So I wanted to bring it back out to explore it with you guys. This camera really helps me to see them. Little black spot for another, another face perhaps on that side, kind of obscure or abstract. Um, this is gonna be the diamond archetype here. So the large kind of diamond hair, head shape. Uh, I did see a pretty defined eye in one of these, like a really chiseled out one. So I want to show you guys that one. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, the eye would be right here. There's going to be several, but that's just the one that I'm spotting off right off the bat. Beautiful piece of, of art here on this one. Um, of course, this one has this big eye on this side. Uh, looks pretty neat. And maybe get some shadows in there for you so you can see the details and the contours. There was another really cool one on here um, that I'm trying to find with y'all right now, but we might have to just move on to the next one. Beautiful stone, regardless. Um, upside down, you know, this is the way that I first saw it with this big headdress, but upside down, we can take a look and see what we can see there. Hmm. Really like this one. So this is one that, you know, when I first started doing this, I could draw these out. I, the vision was so strong, I could actually draw these. And I feel like I could almost draw this one again. I wanna practice some more so I can get better at it. And I'll, I'll show you a demonstration real quick on how I was able to draw this stuff before, but I've got some stuff over here that I can show you here in just a moment. For this one, we see this orange spot right there would be an eye. This one's gonna have a forehead eye as well. And so when you tilt it right, well, there's a lot going on. There's another face above it too. But let's look at it from this side here. So this is the archetype of the woman with her hair coming back. And you'll more than likely see we can catch a good spot of it. There'll just be like a, a pretty clear section of quartz in there. Maybe a smaller face in there as well. And you can see how some of this is polished, polished up. Let's look at this side here. It's a pretty neat little piece of quartz. Um, on this side, so this is pretty neat. So on this side, this red spot for an eye, it's like big nose variant. Um, 
but then if you look at just the red, like where that where this layer of quartz ends, he's gonna be yelling mouth. And so he turns into like a little bit of a different face with the yelling mouth face. So he's, he's two, he's almost like two, on, one on top of the other, really neat. And here's that thunder coming in, looks like it's gonna rain. It sounds like it's gonna rain anyway. So real quick, I'll show you just how detailed these things can get. Um, I'm not a good artist whatsoever, but it's not just the face that you end up being able to see. So you end up being able to see all the details and everything. And I'll go ahead and try to describe this one to you the best that I can from what I remember. Now, right after I kind of learned about this is when I drew this. And so this one's kind of tough to, let's see if I can get it into some shadows here. It's, it's pretty fragile. It's not a stone. It's actually a pottery material. I don't know if you can see there's like a lump right there. And so when you, when the strength is really high with looking at these, I know it sounds kind of nuts. I sound crazy even saying it, but when you get really good at seeing this art style, you can see everything from like little feathers that come out this little, that little lobe. This is like a tucked in version. Um, you know, the mouth might've been not where I put it the first time, but down here. So you guys can see what's going on here with this one, how there's a couple different eyes and there's actually another eye up here as well. So this is two versions on the same stone. They're multifaceted, so you'll have different, different images on each one. Now we went over this one real quick in a short, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. And I'd love to get back to the point where I can start drawing them again, because it was a lot of fun, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's an intense art and it can, it can just about drive you mad. <laughs> So I'll try to pick some that we haven't looked at yet. Um, we got a couple of these little effigies out as well. We've seen all these. It's just that my video quality is not so good. And, you know, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not used to making videos for you guys. Um, and so it's kind of tough for me to, I, I watch some of them and I'm like, oh, geez, you know, had the things upside down half the time and it's just not cool. So I'm gonna try to do a lot better for you. This one here, does have a super awesome defined eye and I'm gonna to try to find it for us real quick and zoom in on it. So he's a pretty neat stone anyway, but it's that same archetype with the woman with her hair all the way coming back. And the eye for this one I'm seeing is right there. It's all about the details. She's gonna have, it looks like another eye on the forehead, which is common in this kind of art. Let's go ahead and take another look around here. You're gonna see probably several different eyes but I saw one in here that was very defined and carved out and things. And so I wanted to try to find that again for you. You can see all these little ridges and stuff. It's all about these little details. So I'd love to be able to find it. Let's see if I can, or if you guys can. So you can see some of the red ochre paint still on this as well. Um, I wish I could just find it right off the bat, but these are very complicated, complex pieces of art. Do have some of the crystal out here. We can explore some of that. Um, but first we can go through real quick, just some of these archetypes on this one. So this is a big face stone, one of the types, much like the gateway piece, right? And so... Trying to get some shadow or something in here for us if we need it. But, you know, you always be able to see those little lips poking out. He's got like the big chin. Of course, that's his nose. So this one has just about every single archetype on it. Flip him over. Now he's got the headdress on. And you can still see those little lips, right? Let me just take a peek for some eyes. I'm seeing an eye right up here carved in. So... This is a really nice piece. Some of them are, you know, some of them are, I hate to say it, but some of them are better than others, I guess. You know, some of them are easier to see. Some of them are like higher level, some of them are lower level. So there's a lot to do, a lot to do here with this one.
So here's kind of a cool one. This is again, the woman with her long hair right there. And you know, we're looking at the edge of the face here, tilting it around to try to make that profile picture right. And then the rest of it comes out at us. And tilt it even further. So I just thought this was a pretty neat one. Um, you do have a lot of the archetypes in it and you know, flipping it upside down in different ways and things. We're gonna find a bird in it somewhere as well. This probably is the bird this way with the right side profile, I guess, I guess. See a little s slice in there for some lips and the nose. You can see an eye right there, right? Pretty neat, pretty neat. That right eye is pretty carved in there. But there's a couple different ones, a couple different eyes. Okay. Take a look at this one real quick. So, so the clay pack that they put on the eyes is so dense that even when I pick these out of the rivers, sometimes they remain on there. This is a really nice one. You guys are going to start seeing these profile portraits of, of people in here. I wish I could, could do a little better job right now. There is still, maybe that's green paint. Looks like it. That's that same color of green paint, but could be algae. I did pick this out of the river. So in the white, I'm seeing just in the upper section here, a face with the eye, nose, and like an open mouth right here. And then the whole stone, if you look at the whole stone, kind of flat on, you got an eye, a nose, and then the mouth in here maybe. It's gonna be a couple different ones. But this is pretty defined there. Now this turns into a cheekbone, you know? This is more of one that you're just kind of looking at just from the side. Instead of like looking over the edge, we're looking mostly at the side on these, which is pretty cool. I'm not very good at doing that. Oh, there's a duck head. See this neck and the beak right there. That's going to be one of the ducks. This is a really neat one. It just takes a little while to learn them. You know, I don't look at this stuff without you guys. It's just too exhausting. And I mean, what kind of what kind of crazy person sits around and looks at rocks by themselves, right? But there's something here, and that's why I want to share it with you guys. Um, so you guys have seen all these little bird effigies, uh, these crazy shapes, right? Like that's not natural. <laughs> no matter what the archaeologists say, you know that you can't convince me that that was natural. It's just it's not. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, we've got some pretty cool little tools here as well. Um, of course, we got the gateway out just for the heck of it. Just because I like to bring it out to show you guys. I show everybody this thing. This did have eyelashes on it when I first found it. I kind of didn't really know what I was doing and I left it out. So this is the one of my other favorite ones here. This is the, the peach quartz and... Believe it or not, many of these are peach quartz as well, the same kind. That's all that black stuff on there is paint. You can pressure wash that off if you're if you're wanting to. I would never, but so this guy's got eyes like one of the totem heads. You know, you guys can see that portrait or profile of a person there. You see the little tiny lips poke out right here, and then I feel like I need to give you just a little more time with that, but you guys can see that right side profile, right? And then if you flip them over here. This one has a lot of the archetypes as well. So this is a woman with her hair right here or with her face right there. And then her hair is all coming back. She's got that big old wild hair shooting back like a phoenix. You know, that's one of the archetypes. So that little indention right there is for her eye. And I'm thinking in the next video, we'll try to um, draw some pictures of these. If I can get my skill up to par again. This is, of course, the fish. There's a couple different faces on here, but... Mostly, um, you know, you have your cardinal on the, on this side here. You flip them out this way. It's actually another cardinal. And then he's on the back of a parrot. You guys saw that one before. So I'm glad you guys got a kick out of this. 